Hello there. We're excited to talk about microchips and the incredible technology behind them today. You know, hardly anything in our society runs without microchips. They're the heart of our cell phones, computers, and cars. But have you ever stopped to think about what goes into making a microchip? Well, let me tell you. A chip is made up of transistors, tiny switches that are thousand times smaller than a human hair. These transistors control the flow of electrons through a circuit, and billions of them are packed into an area smaller than a fingernail. It's one of humankind's most remarkable achievements. But creating the world's most sophisticated chips wouldn't be possible without the help of a German company called Zeiss. In a previous video, we talked about how the Dutch firm ASML is the only company in the world that builds the machines that create the circuitry for the most advanced chips. And guess what? These machines wouldn't be able to operate without Zeiss mirrors inside of them. These mirrors are a complex optical system that miniaturizes the structure of a chip printed on a silicon wafer. Here's how it works, light is projected through a blueprint of the pattern that will be printed, and Zeiss optics focus the pattern onto the wafer, which has already been coated with a light-sensitive chemical. This process shrinks the pattern down to the nanometer level, that's one billionth of a meter. In the end, the wafer is cut into small pieces of microchips. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our community of learners at Technistic. That way, you won't miss out on any future videos and can be a part of the conversation. Plus, with your support, we can continue to serve you more engaging and informative content for you to enjoy. Now, here's where things get really interesting. ASML's less advanced chip-making machines use lenses to focus light, but lenses won't work for its most advanced photolithography machines because these machines use extreme ultraviolet EUV, light, which lenses would absorb. EUV is a shorter wavelength of light than that used by conventional chip-making machines, and it can help pack more transistors onto a chip, making the chip more powerful. Since the German company, Zeiss can't use lenses for the most advanced machines, it uses mirrors. A series of ultra-reflective, curved mirrors guide the light in a vacuum chamber. And these mirrors need to be extremely flat, even the smallest irregularity can lead to imaging errors. In fact, they're polished to a thickness of less than one atom. That means if you were to enlarge the mirror to the size of Germany, the tallest mountain would be less than one millimeter high. Zeiss makes the flattest mirrors on Earth, and they're so stable that if one were to redirect a laser beam and aim it at the moon, it would be able to hit a ping-pong ball on its surface. ASML knows just how crucial Zeiss is to its entire operation, which is why in 2016, it bought a billion euro stake in a subsidiary of Zeiss, Carl Zeiss SMT, purchasing 24.9% of the shares. These two companies pretty much have no rivals, every one of the most advanced chips on earth has passed through their system. They even supply Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, which produces over 90% of the world's most advanced chips. TSMC makes 5 nanometer chips and is striving to make even smaller 3 nanometer ones. The strategic partnership between Zeiss and ASML means the barrier to entry for potential competitors is extremely high. Other manufacturers could try to build their own EUV photolithography machines, but if China wants to build a machine that could rival Zeiss and ASML's, analysts believe it would take at least 10 years to do so. The problem is that China currently can't access the most advanced equipment from Zeiss and ASML because the Trump administration pressed ASML to block sales of its most advanced EUV photolithography machines to China, and the Biden administration has broadened chip restrictions against China. This has led to concerns about China's ability to catch up in the chipmaking industry, which is crucial for their economic growth and national security. China is the world's largest market for semiconductors, and the country's reliance on foreign chipmakers has led to a chip shortage and rising prices for Chinese tech companies. So, what can China do? 
Well, the country has been investing heavily in domestic chipmakers and has set a goal of becoming self-sufficient in the chipmaking industry by 2025. It has also been building its own advanced chipmaking facilities and investing in research and development. But it's not just China that's trying to catch up in the chipmaking industry. Other countries, like South Korea and Taiwan, are also trying to increase their chipmaking capabilities. And it's not just about economic growth, there are also concerns about the global supply chain and the potential for countries to become reliant on a single supplier. The chipmaking industry is a crucial part of our society, and it's fascinating to see the technology and innovation that goes into creating these tiny, powerful microchips. And with companies like Zeiss and ASML leading the way, it's no wonder that the world's most advanced chips are made using their equipment. Thanks for watching, and we hope you learned something new about the incredible technology behind microchips. If you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful and interesting content. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends and followers, and let's hear about your views on this in the comments. That's it for today, and see you in the next one.